Hello and welcome to Answering ATPL. This video will discuss the calculation problem regarding Mercator scale for ESA ATPL General Navigation Examination. In the previous video, titled Mercator's Chart Properties, we had learned that for Mercator's Chart, the scale is correct at the equator and the scale expands away from the equator at the rate of second latitude. From this knowledge, we can derive a formula. Scale at latitude is equal to scale at equator multiplied by second latitude. The formula can be further developed into denominator A over denominator B equal cos latitude A over cos latitude B. You only need to memorize the second formula as it can solve almost all Mercator's scale calculation question. Mercator's scale calculation question are generally can be divided into four type of question and they are Given scale at the equator, find Mercator scale at some other latitude. Given Mercator scale at some latitude, find scale at the equator. Given Mercator scale at some latitude, find Mercator scale at some other latitude. Given a fixed chart distance between meridian, find Mercator scale at a specific latitude. To help you understand how to solve each of these questions, I will show an example for each one of them. Example 1. If the scale of a Mercator chart at the equator is 1 to half million, what is the scale at 60 degree north or south? The formula denominator A over denominator B equals cos latitude A over cos latitude B. First, we need to establish what is known and what is unknown. From the equation, all the data at the equator is given. Thus, equator is known and 60 degrees north is unknown. To simplify our calculation, we choose known as B and unknown as A for the formula. Therefore, for A, the denominator A is unknown. We can label it as X and latitude is 60 degrees and for B, the denominator B is half a million and latitude is 0 degrees. Insert the value into the formula. Cos 0 is 1. Rearrange the formula. X is equal to 250,000. The scale at 60 degrees north is 1 to 250,000. Due to the construction of the formula, we can easily make mistake in placing the correct value into the formula. It is a good practice to check that our calculation is correct. We know that scale is correct at the equator and expand at the rate of second latitude away from the equator. Thus, the scale is smallest at the equator and become larger with increasing latitude. For a scale to become larger, the value of the denominator need to decrease. If we compare the equator scale given by the equation and scale at 60 degrees north, we can clearly see that scale at the equator is less than the scale at 60 degrees latitude. This fact confirms that our calculation is correct. Example 2. If the scale 
of a Mercator chart at 63 degrees south is 1 to 1 million, what is the scale at the equator? The formula denominator A over denominator B equal cos latitude A over cos latitude B. The known is 63 degrees south and the unknown is equator. Therefore, 63 degrees south is B and equator is A. Insert the value into the formula. Cos 0 is 1. Rearrange the formula. X is approximately 2.2 million. The scale at the equator is approximately 1 to 2.2 million. To check our answer, compare the scale at 63 degrees south and the scale at the equator. The scale at 63 degrees south is more than the scale at the equator, thus confirming our answer. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified when I publish a new content. Example 3. On a Mercator chart, the scale at 53 degrees south is 1 to 2 million. What is the scale at 30 degree north? The formula denominator A over denominator B equal cos latitude A over cos latitude B. The known is 53 degrees south and the unknown is 30 degrees north. Therefore, 53 degrees south is B and 30 degrees north is A. Insert the value into the formula. Rearrange the formula. Just take the value before decimal point as accuracy is not emphasized for scale question. X is approximately 2.9 million. The scale at 30 degrees north is approximately 1 to 2.9 million. To check our answer, compare the scale at 53 degrees south and the scale at 30 degrees north. The scale at 53 degrees south is more than the scale at 30 degrees north, thus confirming our answer. Example 4. On a Mercator chart, the chart length between two meridian 180 degree east and 180 degree west is 300 centimeter at 30 degree north. What is the scale of the chart at 20 degree south? When we first look at this question, we are tempted to calculate scale at 30 degree north and later use the denom formula to calculate scale at 20 degree south. It is not wrong to solve the question that way, but it will waste valuable time. As shown on the screen, the width of a Mercator chart is constant throughout the chart, no matter the latitude. Therefore, we did not need to calculate the scale at 30 degree north. This type of question is a bit different from the previous three types. This question is a combination of departure and simple scale question. The formulas required to solve this question are the simple scale formula and departure formula. Simple scale formula is used to find the representative fraction and departure formula is used to find the Earth's distance. Insert the data given by the question into the scale formula. 
we are now short of one variable to solve the equation. We need to find the Earth distance. As mentioned before, we need to use the departure formula to find Earth distance. Change of longitude is 360 degrees. We multiply it by 60 to turn degrees into minutes. We now have the Earth's distance in nautical mile. Since the chart distance is in centimeter, we need to convert the Earth's distance from nautical mile to centimeters. Earth's distance is approximately 3.8 billion centimeter. Insert this value into the scale formula. To turn the numerator to 1 without changing the overall value, divide both numerator and denominator by 300. The scale at 20 degrees south is approximately 1 to 12.53 million. What do you think of this video? Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you find the video beneficial, please like it and share with others. By doing so, you will help other people to find the video. Don't forget to subscribe and if you need additional help, in your exam preparation, consider joining Answering ATPL membership. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the following video.